Good afternoon, everybody. This is Jake here from One Unit again, and here today I'm bringing you a special uh, tutorial about how to set up really advanced themes on your iPhone. And the theme we're going to be setting up today is um, Alien 1974's Desk Extreme theme. Uh, I've already done a lot of legwork so that we can make this video not ridiculously long. Um, basically, your setup's going to look something like this. Your apps, of course, are going to be in different places, but just for the sake of convenience, I've placed them in, you know, some kind of corresponding folder. Now, let me tell you what you need right now. What you need in order to make this theme work is five column springboard. And as you can see, um, I have five column right here. You can also use iconoclasm, which is what I'm using. Let me just tell it the uh, five by four layout. Um, you'll want clock hide you'll want InfiniDoc, and you'll want it to be set at 6. You'll definitely want it to be on. You can tell it's scrolling on. Um, I would recommend Infinity folders, but you don't need it. And you're also advised to get um, 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 a folder enhancer, but I've already run out of the trial of it, and I really don't care. So, I mean, if, if folder enhancer is something you already have, go ahead and turn it on. Uh, See what else you need in the app section. You're going to need spring jumps. You're going to need categories. Let's see. I recommend getting backboard because you'll want it later. You'll need eye blanks. Uh, you'll want multi icon mover just because it's a useful app. You'll want InfiniBoard for vertical scrolling. And Gridlock. Yeah, you'll want gridlock so that you can do this kind of thing and have the spaces. Now, the reason that he says eye blanks is um, when we turn it on, there's going to be the space here. And if you install an app, it'll show up right here instead of it showing up over here. And then you'll get really confused because you'll be like, well, where'd the app go? Well, it'll be back here behind the thing. But you'll see that later. When you download Dusk Extreme, which is free, which is why I'm using it as the example, um, you'll be given a ton of options, which is why that's such a cool thing. So let's see, what do we have here? Here's all the things from when he originally released it. There's a lot more he's put in now, uh, per page HTML wallpapers and all that other cool stuff. So I'm going to set it up the way that I liked having it set up, but I'm going to use some of these. So we're going to get the rest of the theme set up first. So we'll start with spring jumps because it's the easiest. You want every spring jump on. And there we go. Okay. So then the next step. Let me zoom out so you can see. So the next step we're going to do is we're going to move them all into the dock. And at this particular moment in time, it's irrelevant what order they're in. You can move them around to your preference. Um, I'll wind up moving them around when I set this up anyway. Uh, InfiniDoc should be set at 6. But you can have up to 9 and it'll still look fine. Okay. So we've got all of our spring jumps in a row. Most effective. Okay. So the next thing you're going to want to do is set up your, um, your categories because that's going to make your wallpaper. So, let me show you how you need to do it. Okay, look carefully. See how each of these has their own kind of thing? 51. Didn't even want to edit them. Huh. Didn't even know all those were in there. How about that? Oh, they're not. My folders are confused. Anyway, um, you're going to want to name them all. You're going to have nine, and they're going to correspond to the string jumps you'll see in a little bit. But they need to be uh, titled page zero, page one, page two, page three, page four, page five, six, seven, eight. Um, make sure there's no space. Make sure they're spelt just like this, or the um, the theme won't recognize them to theme them. And then when you have them set up, you need to put them in the middle of each page, like so. Okay. And so then the next step is you need to set up your icons like this. Um, the way this will work is that 
this top part up here will operate for the um for like the the main theme like this will be it and it'll look you know relatively it'll look cool when you see it i promise um these three apps actually disappear except i don't think calendar disappears but i could be wrong um let's see what else so when i when i get the theme um activated i'll move all the apps where they belong um this app this theme does have auto create which is a nice feature Okay, so let's go ahead and turn on the theme. And you can choose whichever ones you want. If you look at the uh, at the link to the post that this is from, you'll notice where it says like what each one of these does. So as always, your main theme goes at the bottom. And then I have to try to remember which ones I like. Okay, so Dusty Extreme goes on first. And then this lock screen one is the one I like. I like that one. We need this one on. And this is fancy icons, and so you want that one. How many do I have activated? One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Five is just my number that I remember that that's how many um, themes I should have activated at one time for this theme to work. There's a lot of different looks and feels to it. He's updating it a lot, so um, the lock screen takes a minute to load. There it is. Okay, so we have the lock screen good. And this is it right now. Um, oh good, this gives me a chance to show you how to do this part. This is where the... Um, animated weather will go which is really convenient and so I'll have to get that set up for y'all I'll show you how to do that too and then you see like the spring jumps see how they take you to your different pages and um, my spring jumps are really out of order right now so the default location is where alien lives in Manati or whatever you can touch here for your alarm which is, I mean, it's kind of confusing because you don't really know where they're at. But there's calendar. And here's weather. Okay. So, I'm going to do this. So that we don't get interrupted by a message or anything. And I need to go find us iFile. And you'll see that lots and lots of these are auto-created. Um, city apps... Not so much, but lots of the other ones are. You know, I guess I don't have iFile installed. Go ahead and turn us off of airplane mode. Um, the reason I chose this theme is just because it's, it's simple, relatively to set up. Um, you have a lot of room to play with it. It's a good learning one when you start doing advanced theming like this. If you've never done a theme, it can be a little overwhelming. And unfortunately, he took down all his detailed instructions. So, I mean, so much for that, but that's why you have me. Because I'm a thief. Reload, 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 reload. Quit reloading. Hmm. So how is everyone today? Okay. We're waiting on you, 7-Zip. If you don't have iFile, I highly recommend it because it's very useful for any advanced theme that has like a specific weather location that you want to edit. Um. At this point in time, while we wait for this to load, I also recommend that you uh, uh, find your city location. Like, not like, I mean, obviously you know what city you live in, but some cities don't register quite as easy as other ones with just like their name. So if you can find their uh, Yahoo weather ID or their Apple weather ID or whatever. Okay. Let me show you what I was talking about. Okay, ready? 
there's our file back there, but it got placed back there because I didn't have my eye blank set up there. So I'll show you how to set up eye blanks in a little bit. If that doesn't bother you, don't even worry about it. So as always, var stash themes. Okay, now here's where you can get tricky. You have to remember which one you selected. So the one I chose was the uh, Dusk XT Manila LCD, 20, 12 hours. Okay. So then we need to go into private and the configure me file. See there? We're going to edit the var locale. Don't erase any spaces, don't erase anything other than what's, you know, you're going to change. Okay, got my location set, done, save, done. I like going back a little bit. And now in order for it to take effect, we have to respring. Ding! It kind of, I made the video so that it wouldn't seem like it would take a whole long time, but um, it can take a lot of setup. I'm gonna stop it here in a second so that you don't have to watch me rearrange all my apps and then I'll restart it once I have them all in one order. And so after every respring, you have to give it time to reload itself. This will change. Let's, let's let it wait. I forgot to tell you to install a lock screen dim delay and it'll give you more time on the lock screen to like look at pictures. Oh, there it went. Where did you go, Kira Knightley? I just saw you. There she is. All pretty and stuff. Okay. And there you have it. Flurries. It's really friggin' cold here. Um, so yeah, this is Dusk. Um, I'll be right back as soon as I get all my apps arranged and the spring jump so that you can see how it really should work. Okay, we're back. So here you can see some of the different pictures from the lock screen. Um, let me take you or give you the opportunity to hear the UI right now. There are some great sounds for it. That one's one of my favorites. And then you've got the, uh, the lock sound. And then I believe um, typing. Typing is the same on the... Uh, on that anyway. Let's go ahead and send me a new message. Okay. So it has plenty of really cool sounds for you. Um, lock screen integration with Byte SMS sucks. Like, do not do not even try to go there with it. It just flat out just won't work. Um, but yeah, this is it. I got all my apps set up the way I like them. And I've got the spring jumps the way that I would want them corresponding to. So this is a really um, great theme. Oh, that was really convenient. That was the email sound. There's your badges. Animated weather. Whenever it rains, it's my favorite because it has the, the wiper blades that go back and forth. There's a few plugins. There's a white one. There's a red one. Um, there's one that ports it to the his um, HDC HD2 theme. Um, but yeah, it takes a little bit, but you'll get used to spring jumps. And if you ever um, disable the theme, you'll be really sad. There's a contacts place if you use an app that makes that makes little pictures for your contacts. But you know. And so this is it. Um, if you have any questions, leave me a question. You know, just leave it. And I'll be sure to get back to you. Um, this theme is free. I'll leave the link so you can download it and donate to him and Gregor's 10 who made it. And that's pretty much all I know. 
Um, try it out. If you don't like it, try another of his. Uh, Lucid Dream is a great theme, as is um, his true HTC theme, Eagles MC Squared. He's working on uh, Dark Star, his first theme that he never released, and he's going to re-release it to the community. So, this is Dusk, and I hope you enjoy it as much as I enjoyed um, setting it up for you and showing it to you. And so, for one unit, this is Jacob signing off. Here's something I wanted to show y'all. It's the coolest part of the animated weather. The wiper blades, it's snowing here in Lubbock. And so um, we have the animated weather showing snow. When it's raining, or when it's raining, it'll do the same thing. Just the rain. Um, I think that's probably the coolest part about anything in 1924's theme is um, any of the themes really is that they involve this kind of weather and they're always a very central integrated part and so I just wanted to show you all that right fast and so um, if you get it make sure you get some form of animated weather I'm pretty sure he's got it optimized for 3GS but you might make sure on that before you install it and so once again this is Jacob signing off